What's going on guys, Matt over here with Lethal Garage and today I wanna to jump on the bandwagon of Black Friday. Now, many of you guys know I sell shirts, I sell hats, I sell hoodies, I also have decals and a lot of you also know a lot of the proceeds, actually to date, I would say 98% of all the proceeds have gone to my son. If you guys are wondering, well why would you put all that money towards your son? Upper right hand corner pop up, you'll see a little pop up up there if you wanna know more details about my son, uh, but again, I have all these products. I didn't just create these to try to make money off you guys. It, when I started my channel, actually when I started, I just had my YouTube channel. I was just creating videos. It was very much a hobby. I then was encouraged to create an Instagram channel, so I did that. And a lot of people on Instagram, actually it was a really kind officer, and I don't know if he would want me to say his name or not. Um, he hit me up, he found out about my son somehow, I think we friended on Facebook, and he's like, hey, you should you, like sell decals. You know, you have a really cool logo, maybe think about selling decals. And I was like, no one's gonna buy decals. And I kind of just left it at that, like I didn't do anything. And he just kind of kept poking me, and he's like, dude, do it. And it wasn't until like five or six people all at the same time in one day kind of hit me and were just like, dude, can we get a decal? Love your decal, would love to put it on my car, love to put it on whatever. And I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll go print like 10, 20, I don't remember the actual number, but I printed just a small run of black and white and they sold out like that, like they were just gone. And I was like, holy crap, okay, maybe there's something to this decal thing. And I didn't really feel comfortable making money on it. So I was just like, you know what? Like. Technically, I'm making money on it, but I'm gonna apply it towards my son. It's not that my wife and I can't afford my son's hospital bills, um, but it does, it has taken a toll on our savings account. I mean, just like anybody, you know, everybody in their in their lives probably knows someone or another who has medical bills, who has a someone in their family who goes to the hospital all the time. And I was like, you know what? If this channel could be a good cause or a good help for our family towards my son, then I'm gonna do it. So therefore, bore, are came to light decals. So first gen, second gen, third gen, fourth gen, and fifth gen decals, along with the sixth gen decals. I started making them in multiple colors. Uh, I think I have like 13 or 14 different colors of the sixth gen and probably like seven or eight colors on the fifth gen. All the others are available in black and white. Now, I sold decals for a long time. I did it very ghetto-ly through PayPal, like a PayPal thing and it was really hard to track and people got mad at me because it took forever to ship them out and because I just, I had to do everything manually. So I decided to create like a store. I set up a Shopify store. If you guys don't know what that is, um, the Lethal Garage site is all ran on Shopify. And people started hitting me up like, hey, I love your decal. Would you ever consider making a shirt? And so after enough people kind of harassed me for that, I did a first run of shirts. I think I did 50 shirts in the first run, all black with white writing. And um, it took about two or three months to sell through them all. Actually, I didn't even sell through them all. I still have, I had a whole bunch of smalls left, who would have thought. Uh, and I started like expanding into different sizes like triple XL and quadruple XL for, you know, people who are a little bit bigger um, because I noticed no one carries shirts in those sizes. And I wear a triple XL, like I'm a big guy. I'm six foot five. Uh, most people always say that, they're like, dude, you're a lot taller than I thought you were. I am six foot five. I'm a big guy, I'm about 280 right now and uh i wear triple xl mainly for the length because a double xl makes is like a mid drift on me um but yeah so i set out to not only just make a shirt but a really high quality shirt and uh i it came to the first shirts that i made again were the black shirt with just the six gen writing on it and quite a few of you guys have this shirt um, I love this shirt and uh, I've made it in two different types. I had Gildan and I had Port and Company. Uh, the Gildans, I believe, are the current run right now. They're considered a AAA shirt, so they should last a very long time. The print is what you would consider a double layer, so it should last through the washes. And if you heat dry these shirts, you know, it can detriment the actual ink on the shirt. I always recommend to hang dry them. But, you know, I'm not your mother. Wash your shirts how you feel you want to. A um, little later on, I was like, man, I, I had this Star Wars shirt that I loved. And I found the actual company that made it. It was Fifth Sun. And I started researching where they got their shirts from. And I got this blended red design. Now, I also rolled out the fifth gen design because I had a lot of fifth gen fans that watched the channel. You know, and I know I hear you guys loud and clear. You want more fifth gen content. It's coming, I promise. So I started doing a fifth gen design. I did a lot less prints on them, but um, people have been buying them. They like them. And uh, I, I really like this fifth gen car design, but I'll get into that in a minute. 
So these shirts are super high quality. Now I know some people have talked about shrinkage or how they care for them. Now the red ones are, I think they're like, uh, what are they called? Yeah, polyester, cotton, and rayon. Now these will technically shrink a little bit in the dryer if you have high heat. So I, again, I would recommend hang dry them, but that's just me. The black ones are technically what you would consider a true fit. Um, these shouldn't shrink, but uh, if just like any cotton shirt, if you put it at super high heat, it probably will shrink a little bit the first time, but it shouldn't shrink anymore after that. Again, I recommend hang drying them so you don't have that problem. But again, fifth gen and sixth gen designs in both colors, so you can see. Um, and I'm looking to do more colors. Actually, here, actually, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. So, apologies, camera work. I did, uh, I was checking out this new color. This It's like a blended blue. I don't know, I think I like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, but this was like a trial print. We'll see how it pans out. But I also started doing hats. So I originally started off with the six gen hat. I was a little worried the design was like too crazy. Um, but a lot of people said they loved it. So I left it the way it was. I was gonna start looking into maybe making it a little simpler like the decal, but I haven't yet so let me know also do you guys like this design do you want it maybe a little more simpler but i really like it i wear mine just about every day now but then i did my fifth gen hat now the fifth gen hat i love this logo i think it looks so good it's such a good representation of what the camaro is in, in my opinion sorry my humbled opinion um, but again it's fifth gen sixth gen inspired designs uh, so i did pay to have these designs created for me and um, yeah, and then I started launching the Lethal Garage hats. Now these hats are super high quality. These should last as long, if not longer, than the kind of hats you get at Lids or any of the other companies out there. Um, they're super high quality. They are snapback, and uh, their build design is really nice. They're crafted by a company called, uh, is it Otto or Odo, or I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but they're really nice. So I like them. I would love to know, I mean, I know I've sold probably about, I think 60 hats total to date, just because I haven't really made that many of them, but I made a massive order, so I have a ton of them now. So those are available. And then I started spanning off into hoodies because it was winter time. And I started with the six gen design, and again, apologies for the camera work here. Sorry with the six gen design, this is actually a fifth gen right here, but uh, I just recently, from my six gen design versions that first went out, I upgraded to the next highest tier or what's considered triple A quality hoodies, same with the shirts. So they have really high quality strings, really high quality grommets on them, and the hood is really nice. It's, I don't know how, what else to really say. Uh, the pockets, the interior is like that really soft feeling material on the inside, and they're a nice form fit to your body. So they'll be a little bit baggy, but the has a nice little strand at the bottom, uh, so it's not gonna get super stretched out. It should fit really nicely on you. So again, these are a true fit. Um, but yeah, that's, I, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Oh yeah, so on the website, fifth gen hoodies show in stock and sixth gen, but do note the sixth gens are highlighted pre-order. Why is that? Because I didn't actually mean to print fifth gen <laughs> hoodies. So these hoodies in general were not meant to ever be made. I had submitted the order, they misread the order and printed fifth gen versions instead of sixth. So I have a whole bunch of fifth gen um, that I'm basically now selling. And then now I have sixth gens coming, they should arrive by this weekend and they'll ship early next week. So if you do wanna order a sixth gen, it's not gonna ship out right away. It's gonna follow up next week after the Black Friday weekend. So uh, again, if you guys are interested in these, they are available. Now my Black Friday deal, 30% off everything. Now again, that brings everything down to just about my cost that I have into them. Um, so as you know, I pay for all my inventory up front. I pay for them to ship here. I package them all, I ship them out. I pay for the shipping all that junk, um, like it's not like, oh, you order it and then after I get so many orders, then they get made and shipped out, that's not how it works. I literally have totes on the other side of this wall that are, have all the different shirts and hoodies and everything all folded nicely. Uh, me and my wife fold them all and prep them all and then put them in the totes and uh, we ship them out. So if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, it's now 30% off BF for Black Friday, so BF2017. Use that at checkout, you'll save 30% on your entire order. 
So check it out. This deal is only available on the day of Black Friday. I'm not doing extended sales. I'm not doing anything like that. If anybody's truly interested and they wanna check it out, it's a one, one day deal. It's the actual Black Friday special. If you take advantage of this deal during Black Friday, you're gonna save the most. So I'm, I'm not one for the crazy extended sales or it's the day after Black Friday sales or Cyber Monday. Oh wait, these aren't, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so thanks for checking out this video. I hope you guys all are getting ready for an amazing Thanksgiving. Uh, and if I don't see you in the next video or anything, I hope your Thanksgiving was great. Uh, I'll have plenty of videos live on the channel for you to watch if you're bored around family. I got a couple new videos incoming, but outside of that, Thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thanks for supporting my family. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, again, if you guys are interested to find out where basically 98% of all this money has gone from these sales, upper right hand corner, learn about my son. Um, and outside of that, any of the additional money that hasn't gone towards him has basically gone to buying hats and shirts and hoodies and basically the inventory I have right now. So, and if you guys aren't able to take advantage of this Black Friday, I will be selling products at uh, uh, Battle of the Bow Ties on December 3rd. So if you're coming down for that, and also at Camaro Con, which is April 28th. So if you guys are looking forward for the next Camaro Con, uh, April 28th in Temecula. So mark your calendars for that. Super excited for that show as well. So either or, love you all. Thanks for sticking in this video for so long. And until next time, guys, hope to see you on the road.